So Morphe and Coca-Cola just came out with a crazy cool collaboration. This is what the outer packaging looks like. I don't know why, but I set all my brushes on top of the palette. That was a horrible idea. This is what the palette looks like now that it's uh, out from under my small army of brushes. These are what our color shades are looking like. So they released this. I actually didn't hear. I don't know why I didn't hear anything about like, hey, we're releasing this until really it dropped. I, I saw it on Morphe's Instagram and I really hadn't seen much hype about it beforehand. So I was kind of like, oh, oh, okay, that that happened. So I looked on Morphe's website and I was kind of like, oh, me, I really want the palette, which uh, you guys know me. That's what I always go for is the palette. Um, they had some lip glosses, but I didn't really, I wasn't really vibing them. I thought about the brushes, but the brush set was like, I think it was like 30 bucks. And honestly, all my brushes come free in bundles and sets that I get or in the subscription boxes I have. So I was like, I don't wanna spend $30 on brushes. Well then Ulta did a huge sale over the weekend, put a lot of stuff on sale. I wound up redeeming, they were giving away free gifts and stuff. So I wound up redeeming 6,000 points, which is the equivalent of uh, $375, is that right? 125 each, yeah, so 375. So I, I got a, a bunch of makeup, spent like six bucks total out of pocket for it. And one of the things that I opted to pick up was of course, our lovely Coca-Cola palette that we have here. Um, now I've seen mixed reviews about it. I think everybody pretty much put up their reviews like a day or so ago. So um, so it's still relatively new. There's not a ton about it yet, but some people have liked it. Some people have hated it. So I'm not really sure what to expect. The colors, I will say, of course, these four right here are the ones that really catch my eye in particular. I love reds. So the two really beautiful matte red shades and then the glitter red shade. I love this kind of like frosty blue shade. I love this silver shade, but I will say, I told Nikki before we sat down to film, upon in initial inspection, I was not thrilled with the fact that they did not include a single black color. I felt like that was weird because like that's like Coca-Cola, their, their label is black and red. So you would think that they would include like maybe instead of this deep brown, they would have put like a black and, and maybe they were trying to be unique. And this is very weird for somebody who doesn't typically use black eyeshadows. But thinking about the look I wanted to create today, I thought a black would have been a really nice addition. And I really kind of feel like this one doesn't have a lot that matches it, if that makes sense. Not that you can't use it with colors, it just normally there would be at least one or two matte shades that I feel like would really go well with it. And really the only ones that I feel like were kind of tied to it were the blending shades. So just, there's a little bit of um almost like a discombobulation or disconcertedness to it where it almost feels like there's some really pretty colors that definitely are on theme and then there's some colors that I'm kind of like, Okay, all right, well, sure, all right. That, that was the choice. And even the names, like some of them are really cute and then some of them I don't I don't honestly get. Refreshing is the brown one down at the bottom. Fizz is that really pretty white shimmer at the top. You've got Happiness, which is the really pretty glitter shade down here, this one right here. Ooh, this one right here. Um, and then you, there's some that I just don't get, like Name Drop pop culture, I mean, maybe that has something to do with Coke, but I'm I'm not getting the reference initially. So there is one called Good in Red. That's the, the really, uh, this kind of like, I guess it's like a in between dark and light. I don't know, it, in the lights, it, it was dark before and now I sit in the lights and it looks really bright. So it's the darker one we're gonna go with, but it's called Good in Red, which is funny. It's, it's clever, but I don't get it. So, okay. So that's just me kind of giving you guys an idea of the palette and my initial reaction to the palette, but let's, let's dig down into uh, the good stuff today. Let's actually do our makeup. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a super simple, uh, like demi cut crease, really, really simple four shades on each eye, but I'm going to do different colors. So we get to use eight of the shades rather than just four. So for the first eye, which is going to be this one right here, we are going to do this as the base, this as the blending shade, this as the glitter pigment. And I'm thinking this one right here as kind of like the darkening shade. So let's jump into this bad boy. Let's come in hot, let's do it. I don't know why I'm saying that. I don't know what, that's not from anything. That's from my brain. I'm so sorry, you guys. So we're going in with good and red and I'm just gonna cover my entire lid with it. I'm not seeing a ton of fallout, but I mean, I don't know. That, there was one time I didn't see any fallout and then Nikki was like, zoom in fallout. And I was like, oof. Yikes. But there is some fallout on the pan. So that that is something that is occurring. Yeah, there's a lot of fallout on the pan, but we're gonna we're gonna breeze past that for the time being. I am now going to go in. I'm gonna find a better blending brush. I washed all my brushes today for the first time in like a month, which is necessary, but um, it was uh, bad taming because I ne I needed to do this, and they're all they're all currently wet. So so I'm gonna go in now with Always Bright, which is the slightly lighter red shade, and we're gonna do that as the blending shade. This is the wrong brush. This brush was too tight. No. All right. 
readjusting, adjusting. Oh, my allergies are really bad right now. And um, of course, with the fact that we're living in the middle of a global pandemic, I think that I'm dying every time my nose runs. So it is not fun right now. It is not fun. I'm not liking this and I don't, I don't know why. I liked the first shade, but I feel like, one, I feel like there's not as much variation as I was hoping between the two. And then two, this is just not blending out as well as I was hoping. And I know these are not my regular brushes, but like I, I've used this brush every time I've traveled and I normally like it. So I don't hate it. I just am not loving this particular shade in terms of like, doing what I needed to to do. And there really is very little difference between the two shades, if I'm being honest. Like, can you can you tell at all? I know you're not really good. Yeah, I just... So it's a retail value of $22, very on par with Morphe's prices. And honestly, for a palette, especially with what you're getting in the, the number of... Let's try that again. What you're getting with the number of colors you're getting, which is um, it's 18 colors in this palette, I don't think that's a bad price. Uh, now, whether or not it's worth it is still yet to be determined, but let's let's see. So here we are sitting with this eye. So I'm actually going to readjust. We're gonna do the base of this eye now, and then um, I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, I'm gonna do the cut crease and then finish it off. Right now, I mean, it doesn't look, it really doesn't look bad. It just, it looks like a lot of red. Like there's not a lot of like variation or like color gradient, which is what I was hoping for. I was hoping, and I know they look similar, but like they still don't look identical. So I don't. I don't know what's happening. All right, jumping over to the other eye. The other eye, I'm thinking the best thing to do is to go with all the feels, which is the dark brown color on the lid. So let's do that. Okay, so starting to go in with all the feels, pretty basic brown. Um, it does kind of, as silly as it sounds, it does kind of give me like a Coke vibe and I don't know why, like maybe it's like, it reminds me of the soda. But I did like, when it started going on, I was kind of like, well, I can kind of see why this isn't a Coke palette, a Coca-Cola. I guess I should differentiate. It's not Coke, like the Cocaña. It is, it is Coca-Cola, as in, ah, refreshing Coca-Cola. I don't know. This would be a wild review if this were uh, the other kind of Coke, you know? No, that's a terrible feeling. Goodbye, cocaine. No, 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 no. I wouldn't know. I've never done Coke, but here we are. I'm fine, it's fine. We're good, we're good. All right, yeah, I'm digging this vibe. I'm like, I'm liking this one. This is this is a pretty color. Still, um, yeah, I mean, it's not revolutionary, but it's pretty. Now we're going in with Name Drop, which is up in the corner, kind of like a brownie mustardy color. I think that's gonna be a pretty blending shade for this guy. Time. This is really bad. I don't know why it's just this one size. It's all that Coke. Don't tell the FBI. FBI, open up! Anyway, back to makeup. Nothing to see here, just doing makeup. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did dye my hair purple again. That was yesterday's video. And now my my scalp is like entirely, it looks like a little aubergine. It's, pre it's precious. It looks like the eggplant emoji. It's just, it's a good time here. We're having fun with my, with my very purple scalp, which is one of the things, if you are not a professional hairstylist and you dye your own hair, uh, that could happen. And it happened to me. It happens almost every time, but I do like how it turned out. I hope, I hope I get to keep it for a while. We'll see. I like what's happening on this eye. I like it. There's, there's a color variation. I'm a fan of the browns. Now, that being said, do I think the Coca-Cola should have the strongest colors be browns? I mean, it's it's it's, perf it's personal preference, but for me, nah, not really. I mean, I'm just saying like, I, I feel like they could have been a lot more creative. There's a lot of really beautiful brown palettes out there, you know, but they, I do like this. I like what's happening on this, my, on my eye over here on this side. This side, not as much, but you know, what you live and learn. I think what was really sad for when, like initial inspection was I just was kind of like, man, I would like to have like two bright eyes instead of like a brown and a red. And we didn't really have like another bright option. It was red and browns were the, the highlights in these palettes. So anyway, I'm just I'm just giving you guys my opinion. I haven't fully decided if this palette's worth it yet or not. I want to see the I want to see what the glitters do. That will be my deciding factor. Okay, so let's look at let's look at the glitters then. Let's do that. Let's let's go. So I'm gonna take just a little bit of Bubble Up, which is the kind of white shade, and I'm gonna go um, in with that on this eye just to kind of give it a little bit of a blend into my brow. And then I'm gonna go in with Recognized, which is uh, the other blending shade that's a little bit more of a brown tone. I'm gonna go that on this eye. That went like a little hotter than I wanted it to for some reason. Good, 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 yes, okay. All right, all right, all right. It's time for the fun stuff. So I learned this trick on TikTok and I'm excited to see if it works. So they said, put a little bit of concealer here and then look up. That does not work for me. I. 
that doesn't work for me. Okay, now we know. The idea is you're supposed to be like look up and then like wherever it hits up here, but my eyelids are so large because I have just like very massive eyelids that it did, that didn't play out for me as I had hoped it would. So nope, not nope. So we're just gonna do my cut crease like I normally do. I'm interested to know if anybody else has bought this palette yet or is, is has looked at it or anything about it. I'm just interested to know what other people are thinking about it because I just really don't know how to feel. I don't hate it, like by any means. I do, I do think I'll use it. I just don't know if it's necessarily worth telling people to like, oh yeah, run out and buy this palette, if that makes sense. Because I got it with such good, you know, sales. I mean, I use points or whatever. So yeah, it's stuff that I've earned in the past and definitely money that I've spent in the past. But I just, I just feel like I don't know if it's, if it's, good or not it sounds stupid but it's not a bad product quality wise i just don't know if it gives you like colors that you should be out there like oh my god i need this in my life like let me run out here and grab it i just don't feel like that with this you know and i wanted to because i saw the reds and i was like oh the reds are so pretty they are pretty but they're just kind of like i can pull out i could probably pull out like four or five palettes right now in my collection already that have reds that i like better if that makes sense. I keep saying if that makes sense, like you guys don't understand. It's not because I think you're stupid, it's because I think I'm rambling, I promise, so sorry. I'm gonna go up in here and just kinda. Uh, 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 uh. As you as you fix your blending, you have to make that noise, it's a rule. You gotta go, uh, 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 uh. just kidding, you don't do that. You sound really like, a, I sound like a dolphin or a walrus who's struggling with life, which I mean, not far off, probably closer to the walrus. All right, I'm gonna try the glitter pigments now. We are gonna see how they do. And I'm going to try it with my finger first. And if it doesn't work with my finger, then we'll try it with a brush. And if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna be really sad. So let's let's go in. All right, so that's it on my finger. Okay, it's definitely doing what these kind of glitter shades normally do, which is kind of just sporadically applying, not really consistently applying. And it's, ah, all right, I'm gonna, it's fine, it's fine. We'll fix it, we'll fix it. I'm gonna use the brush. I think the brush is gonna help it. It reminds me so much of the Patricia Bright palette, that red pigment that I really wanted to love. And I was just kind of like, meh. I feel like with the loose glitters, they're very hit or miss. Like if if a, a palette, like a true pressed palette can perfect that loose glitter shade, they are, that is a die hard loving forever palette because it just, it's just very hard to do. I think it's a struggle. So uh, yeah, here we are. Okay. All right, so that one didn't work. Sorry, that was the shade Pop Culture. We're going in with Ad Life now, which is the yellow shade next to it. Now, this is going to be a very interesting experiment because there are only two, what I would call like chunky pressed glitter shades. And then the rest of them are just what I would call shimmer shades. So this is the one we just used, right? This is the other one that I would say is like that with the, the loose glitter chunky shade, but we're gonna go in with this color, which is definitely a different formula in terms of what the glitter should look like. So no matter what, they're not going to be completely like identical in different colors. There's definitely gonna be some sort of a texture difference I'm guessing too, but I just think that this glitter shade is gonna work best with the colors that we've chosen. So that's why I'm doing that. I love this one. My God. Okay, so I'm loving this, what's happening here, and I'm not at all really enjoying what's happening here. And it's not because I'm a person who doesn't like red. I love my damn reds. I would wear red every day if I could. But I just don't, I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan of it. I don't like it. Okay, okay. Let's now go in with our final shades and, and kind of tighten up what's happening. I'm hoping that this last little bit in the red will kind of bring it in because it'll add like a little bit of dimension to it that we don't quite have right now. Oh, it looks awful. I don't, I wanna hide this eye from the world. That was the shade, if you guys are cur uh, curious, that was the, the shade Energetic. Um, it's kind of like a, what I would call like a deep brown, but it's got red tints in it, which is why I was hoping that it would work. It, d it didn't work, it was not a good choice. It's a bad choice on my end. It's a good thing I'm not going anywhere because I literally would be like, hi, sorry, don't look at the side of my face. It's, it's not good today. It's fine, let's let's finish this eye because this eye is the, the one that I would recreate. So we're going in with Refreshing, which is the darkest shade in the palette. The one that I said I wish kind of were brown, I mean black. It is just a dark brown. Oh no, no, it works fine. It works fine with this, I love it. Yep, yeah, I love this eye, yep. I took a little bit of our blending shade, which is Name Drop, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that under on this side. This eye to me just looks like a fin an exponential amount more appealing than this eye does. 
And even, you know, I gotta be honest, I don't hate this eye, like I would wear this out. I just don't love it. And like, honestly, it's it's hard when you have so many palettes, or you. There are so many palettes on the market, most of which I have and have tested because I have a problem and I need to calm down, but I don't. So here we are. Um, but I, there's just so many palettes on the market that I really feel like you can get a better variety of colors for about the same price or cheaper. I'm gonna go back to the Patricia Bright palette. You, you would think that I'm pimping for this palette. I don't, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't know, I don't, not, I'm not benefiting from it at all. I'm just really love this freaking palette. So I'm, that's why I keep telling you guys, that one has so many colors, a lot of which are very similar to these and then more. Um, and the formula is a little bit better in my opinion. So here we are, here we is. All right, let's finish it off. Let's see what we can do with, uh, with our mascara done. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little review. I would say probably just finishing thoughts while I do my mascara. Unless you really love Coca-Cola, if you're a diehard Coca-Cola fan, if you really want like the packaging, packaging is cute. I think it'll wind up being like a kind of like a, oh, look a little memorial thing. Like let's remember when they did this. Do I think it's gonna be like the next best palette, the 2020 hit list, the must buy of the year, I really don't, I don't, I'm sorry, it's mean, I don't, it is what it is. Will I use it again for the brown shades? Yeah, I love the yellow. In fact, as I'm getting closer to the yellow, you can see like a little bit of like green and blue reflectiveness in it, which I think is lovely. And I didn't notice that in the pan, but now in the lights, I can see it. Beautiful, I love that. This eye, re this eye look, I'm really digging. And this eye look, I'm just not a fan of. And I really wanted the reds to be better. So that's why I think I'm disappointed with the palette. I want to use the blue shade though. I'm probably going to use that with a in you know with another palette where I can find like some even if they're not quite blue shades, just some like blacks or grays that I think will work better with it than the browns and stuff that are um, are given to us in this palette. All right, y'all, that's what that's what we did. That's what she, that's that's how she looking. She looking like this. Which eye do you guys like better? I've been telling you guys that I love this eye and hate this eye, but maybe you guys feel the opposite. Maybe you really like the red shades. And so, I don't know, give me some feedback. Let me know, let me know um, what you thought of the eye look. Let me know what you thought of the palette. Let me know um, if you have gotten it or you're waiting on it, or you don't think you're gonna buy it, or you love Coca-Cola and you think I'm an idiot for saying anything bad about the palette. I don't know, just leave me some comments. Uh, I always love hearing feedback from you guys. Um, it definitely makes me uh, feel nice to know that you guys are watching and, and it's either helping to hear my opinion or it's not helping to hear my opinion, whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the eye look. Uh, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't joined the Dark Angel family yet, we would love for you to be one of our little Dark Angel uh, family members. We are a very loving YouTube community. I want lots of support and happiness and growing together. So if that interests you, then uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. No. I was, on, I was on such a roll too, damn, okay. Anyway, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, yeah, that way you can see every time we upload new videos, which we're trying to do as frequently as possible while everybody is still trying to self isolate and hanging out more at home. So I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And other than that, just remember to stay girly with a dark twist.